Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Steven, bringing back another video. You guys want to know how to play your games uh, for a PC with your Xbox 360 controller or PS3, PS2, there's other stuff like that you can use. But uh, today I'm just going to be going over the Xbox 360 controller. Um, first of all, you, the first step you have to do is obviously download XPatter. I'll have the link in the description. You just download it from Mediafire. It takes like one minute, not even a minute. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Just download it. After that, um, you open up XPatter. First of all, before you um run XPatter, if it like if you run it and it doesn't work, go to compatibility. And if you're running Windows 7, put on Windows XP Service Pack 3. Um, I think it doesn't matter what you're on. Just put it into that. Apply. Click OK. And just start it up. Um, after you start it up, you guys will see right here. I have all the buttons. Um. What you do is, first of all, let me just make a new one. Okay, you go to image, and I'll have this image link in the description too. Um, yeah, I'll have the link in the description. All you gotta do is take the image out, um, move it over there, go to sticks, enable it, use your left stick on your Xbox 360 controller, put left, up, and then you have it. And then you put it on your left stick, obviously. Then you do stick to, you enable, enable it left up, and that's your right stick. If I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys, um, don't, don't um mind to stop the video or pause the video, and use the D-pad up, down, left, right. Um, you guys will see I'll have like the numbers already set. Um, because this is already, I already have my thing already set. And you do A, you take A, B, X, Y, left bumper, right bumper, back, start, and the middle button doesn't work. Um, and you move on the triggers, you enable your trigger, left trigger, right trigger, this doesn't matter what you do. If it does that, just do it again. And make sure you move your triggers right. And then you can test out all your buttons, make sure they work. And after you do that, um, you should be able to move your cur uh, mouse thing around with your right stick. Uh, yeah, and then you just click finish. Or you should be able to do it now, I guess. After that, you guys see I have all the controls for my game. I'm um, playing on the PC. I have WASD. Well, first of all, all you have to do is just click on the button. And then click the button. And then just X out of it. And you'll have the button set. Um, if you want to change like the sensitivity and stuff, you go on here. You click on these things. And just click on mouse settings. Um, this will change the sensitivity I would recommend 70 or lower. That's it's a pretty fast sensitivity. Um, just you have to try it out yourself. Any sensitivity is. I only play PC a lot, so 70 was perfect for me. Um, maybe if you're um, more experienced with PC, you can probably bump it up if you like higher sensitivity. But yeah, and then it's your right, right trigger. Um, I think you can actually. Uh, and I'm not gonna even tell you guys what it is. But there's some pretty cool settings on here, and that, all you gotta do is do that, and then click Save As, put it onto your desktop or wherever, and then click this, Save it, Save As To, and then you'll have two things on your desktop. You can just put in a folder or something. I just put them like, uh, like in the far corner of my desktop, and that's pretty much it, guys. And then you just minimize it, and then you just click on whatever game you are actually on. And the thing is, um, when you, like, play, like, pretend you're playing AVA, Combat Arms, um, all these, like, FPS games, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, World at War, Call of Duty, um, what else, Team Fortress, uh, Crossfire, all these type of games on the PC, uh, you should be able to move your mouse, um, I had a lot of problems with this, and, uh, you will get pissed, trust me. It won't work sometimes. Um, 
just go in there, delete that, delete the profile on XPad or, and just redo it. Uh, and then it should work. And if it doesn't, then just comment on the video and I'll be sure to reply to you on whatever you have. But uh, if you're running Windows 7, make sure you go to properties on your thing and make sure you change the compatibility to Windows XP. Or um, if that doesn't work, then try Windows uh, Vista on it. Try Windows Vista. And then just um, just regular Windows Vista. But try Windows XP Search Pack 3. If that should work first. Click apply and okay, then you'll be good. And make sure you run it as an administrator, as you guys see. Run as an administrator when you open it. But that pretty much is it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If, you if this helped you out a lot, um, if you want to play your games with the freaking controller, helped you out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.